<laughs> oh my gracious. Okay, so we just went to the feed store and came out with a kitten. <laughs> Wait, girl, how does that happen? Uh, let me show y'all. So we went in the feed store and somebody had brought this little kitten in the store and asked to find it a home. So just so happens to be black. It's, uh, we don't know how old it is. We don't know anything about it except for it needed a home. So, here we are with a new kitten that, uh, we need to, we need to see if it's healthy. I mean, it looks healthy, but who knows, right? So, I'm gonna run home and, um, get a carrier. I, hmm, wow. It sure is cute, Mary Carl. Boy, that was unexpected, wasn't it? <laughs> um, the first thing that I think we need to do is probably, we think it's a male, but you know, I'm not for sure. So I think the first thing we probably need to do is take him to the vet, have him checked out, try to figure out how old I say he because the lady at the feed store thought it was a he. Try to figure out how old it is and if it may need any shots. I know it needs warmer for sure, but it's gonna det it's gonna depend on how old he is and how much he weighs as to if there's anything the vet can do at this point. Mary Carl, I I'm gonna run home and um, and we can get a carrier. And I can call the vet and let them know that we're on the way, make sure everything's okay. Yeah. All right, so we got our things done that we needed to do at home. Uh, we've got a carrier in the back and we're on our way to the vet. So y'all come with us and Let's find out more about this kitten. Oh goodness. Okay, so we have arrived. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Hey baby, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Alright, baby. Are you glad to be having that carrier? You know what? We're gonna wait on that. All right, so we have a little boy, a little boy kitten, and he doesn't weigh enough to have any vaccines today. So what we're doing is getting. They they gave him some wormer. And then I'll bring him back in a couple of weeks. <laughs> okay, so we're about to leave the vet and it is a he. And he is not old enough to have any kind of shots yet. So what we're gonna do is go home with a flea peel, flea tablet, and just watch his weight. And hopefully in a couple of weeks, he'll be big enough to come back and get his first set of vaccines. She thinks he's about five weeks old and um, he only weighed a little over a pound, so we want to be at two pounds before we do those first shots. So we're headed. You want to go by um, and see if we could get him any toys? Sure. Okay, we'll go by and we'll get him some toys and a little bed and some different things. And
That one looks good. Alright, let's see. <laughs> A little mouse. They don't make any noise, though. Oh, well, maybe they do. What about that um, thing on a stick? There's another one to the I right. Think it sits up oh, there's one with feathers. Oh, that one has feathers yeah, too. Yeah, I think it sits up right and it goes around in circles. You think that'd be good? Yeah. All right, so put those two in. Look at this one, Miko. It spins around. I wonder if that. Yeah, that's a value pack. All right, so you think this is enough? Yeah. You do? Okay. All right, what about a collar? Let's look at those. Okay. All right, so we saw one cat collar and it was pink. I don't see any other cat collars. Okay, so we may have to just pick up a cat collar somewhere else because we definitely want to break away. Okay, so we're on the way home with cat food, cat litter, lots of toys, a little bed. I think we, well, a bowl. I think we got everything that this little kitten is going to need in order to live inside our house until our barn's complete. We're, we're getting real close for the barn to be complete, but with us finding out that the kitten's probably around five weeks old, we definitely want him to be a little bit bigger before he's um, anywhere on his own. We want to be able to check on him and make sure all is well. But, um, Mikra, I got a question for you. Since we found out it is a male and it's a black cat, do you have any names in mind? Bramble. What? Br Bramble? Yeah. Do you know what that means? It's a wild blackberry. Okay. So, are you set on that or? Yes. Okay. So, the kitten has a name. <laughs> and its name is Bramble. It, well, you think you spell that B-R-A-M-B-L-E? Yep. Okay. Alright. So, Bramble it is. So, when we get home, we're going to get him all settled in and see how Bramble likes his new environment. buddy. Here we are in the bathroom. We've got him a little little tiny box here that we're going to use for a litter box. Where are you going? And uh, I think he'll be just fine in here until he's big enough to to go outside, we've got him a little bed and it also raises up, raises up into a little house so he can kind of hide out of the way. Mary Cross gonna undo his toys. We've got his food and water. And now we just need a kitten. All right, so I think that's enough, enough balls for a few more kittens. What do you think? Yeah. Come here, baby. Look at here. Oh, he's so little. Come here. Yeah. Look at all those balls. Roll one of them. It's okay. All these toys, and he looks like he'd rather play with your shoe. He said, I just gotta get used to things first. Oh, behind the bathtub. We might come in here and he might have climbed up that curtain. <laughs> as soon as he gets used to his surroundings. Yeah. Oh, he found him a little mouse. Oh, he's got it, look. That didn't take long, did it? Don't push it around. What was that? He's so little. 
little, I guess I didn't realize how small he was until he was out in here. But now I see why they couldn't do his shots today because the lady at the that that works at the feed store by looking at him, she thought he was around eight weeks old. So we just kind of kind of went off of what she said. But um, with the vet saying that, where are you? With the vet saying that he's five uh, weeks old. He looks to be five weeks old. And the vet also thought his eyes were beautiful, which they're blue. Now, a lot of kittens are born with blue eyes or gray eyes or green eyes, and they stay that way till about seven weeks of age. But the workers at the vet clinic, as, as well as the vet, thought that his may stay blue. And as Mary Carl and I were looking in Tractor Supply at some of the cat food that they had, there were pictures of a lot of uh, breeds of cats that had Siamese in them, and they all have blue eyes. So I'm starting to wonder if he's got some Siamese in him because you can see the little white hairs on his little longer hairs. He said, I gotta go. Oh, go and drink a little water. Uh oh. Yeah. And we are putting a little bit of water on his cat food to make it moist because he's so young. He did not need to be on milk replacer. Just um, simply cat food. So we bought a, a good brand of cat food that should give him all the necessary vitamins and minerals that he needs. Your daddy and I might be hearing jingling all night. And we chose to put him in the bathroom because your bathroom is much smaller than this one. And I think this will just be... What is he playing with? A little orange ball. Oh, okay. This is, of course, where the, where the boys were when we first got them. So it seems like this is the rescue spot. The bathroom. How cute he is. He slept just about the whole way home in his carrier. And I told me across that I bet he's going to be wound up when we get back. And look, look at here. <laughs> There's not much cuter than a little kitten playing with its toys. Oh, he's running. didn't take long. He was hungry. Poor baby. Slow down, buddy. You're not going to miss any meals. Goodness. Yep, I think he's going to be a good new addition to Cark Hill Farm. Aren't you, buddy? He wants to get down and play some more. Well, tell everybody they're going to see a lot more of you because you're going to be in the house for a little bit. Come here. <laughs> all right, so I've got to go outside and feed all the animals. And I also want to tell you guys the results of the genetic testing that we had done on the Australian crested doves. Hey, Jesse. I'm gonna get y'all fed and then I'm gonna come in there and talk to you, okay? All right, Jesse, you ready to eat?
I tell y'all what, this is one smart girl. So as soon as I come in and I feed the goats and Mildred, Jesse automatically comes into this corral area that we had here initially to feed a young goat in. She pretty much comes in here on her own. Jesse, I want you to know how thankful I am that your mama DJ and your daddy Daniel trusted us to have you come live here on our farm because you if you had been here during my sweetest animal video, you may have gotten that award because you are definitely a sweetheart. So she loves hugs. I love to hug her back. So it's a win-win for all. But I leave her in here while she eats because she's very slow and she likes to take her time. So. I sit in here with her, have some one-on-one -on -one time, get some hugs, while the other animals are over here enjoying their eats. But Miss Jessie's a special girl, and I'm so happy that she's here with us. She gets, she gets brushed every day. I think she enjoys it. She'll sometimes stop for a hug, but then she'll continue her eating. And she knows very quickly. She knew that if she came in here, she would be separated from the other animals and she would be able to eat on her own clock. She wouldn't have to worry about being in a hurry. But y'all look at how well this coat's coming off. Her winter coat starting to come starting to shed out. Oh, it's hugging time. She stopped for a minute to get a hug. Just about got all this winter coat out. Yeah. And you like to be brushed, don't you? Do good. Oh, well, she's such a sweet girl. I hope y'all are gonna enjoy seeing Jessie here at Coghill Farm. All right, sweet girl, I'm gonna let you finish eating, and I'm gonna go show everybody the Australian crested doves that we got a couple of weeks ago and tell everybody if we have a pair or if we have two males or two females. So you take your time. Nobody's gonna mess with you in here. And I'll be back in just a few minutes. Hey, fellas. What y'all doing? Oh, goodness. Playing with Holly. They sure are getting big. Oh my gracious. All right, boys, I'm gonna go check on the Victorian crown pigeons and the Australian crested doves, ring neck doves. Y'all just keep on playing, okay? Okay, so here I am in the aviary. You can see one of the Australian crested doves. Well, actually both of them. They're back there on the pond area. We've got it covered up so nobody can have any accidents, but we did get the DNA results back. And we found out that they're both girls. So, that's okay. Um, the gentleman that we got them from, he said he would always be up for swapping them out. Trying to see if we couldn't try it again and maybe get a male. But we did get the DNA test back to find out it's two girls. In the meantime, there still is no egg. But these beautiful birds have been courting each other. They have been grooming each other, feeding each other, taking turns sitting on the nest together, but just no egg. So I'm being patient and they are too. <laughs>
Jesse, did you get finished eating, girl? You did. I see you, sweet girl. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, you a sweet girl. Yes, you are. Y'all, Capri looks like she's about to pop. Her udder's still getting bigger. We're not there yet. Jesse, what you gonna think when you see some baby goats? I bet Mildred's gonna be happy to be a great aunt. <laughs> Y'all, I came in here to check on him. And he's in the little crate asleep. Why did you choose to sleep in there versus in your bed? It's just nice and comfy, I guess. But he did eat a lot of his food. And it looks like he's had some playtime. Thank you.